Hello YouTube, my name is Chris Carpenter from BNB Technologies. Today we're doing a video on the ALM robot, which is an auto upgrade utility that really cuts down the time for upgrading our projects. There's some things to keep in mind, this only supports versions 10, 11, and 12, and everything in between. If you're upgrading from version 9, you first need to get your projects up to Quality Center 10 at least, and then the ALM robot will be able to help you thereafter. Here I'm on my ALM server, and I've already uninstalled ALM 11, and I've installed ALM 12. So the first step is to download the ALM robot zip file, extract its contents, and I've already done that, so let's drill down into this ALM robot folder. The installation process is very easy. Double click the ALM robot.msi file. Go ahead and install it anywhere on your machine. I like to install for everyone in case anybody else wants to come into the server and use this utility. Click Next, Next, and the ALM robot is installed. There are some configurations that we need to do in order to run this utility. So let's go ahead and log into the ALM site admin. Here, because it's a fresh install, I need to install the site admin components. Installing the ALM components is a prerequisite to running the ALM robot utility. The next configuration we need to do, we need to create a domain called robot. The next configuration is creating a project under that robot domain. Click create project. It can be an empty project and it's called robot temp. This allows the ALM robot utility to look at a DBID XML file for some of our configurations. All right, I fast forward a little bit, and now the project is created. Click the OK button, and on our desktop from the installation of the ALM robot, we have a new shortcut here. And look at that, it's a robot. Double click the robot, and we have our ALM robot the upgrade wizard display. Click on the Upgrade Wizard button, and this is where we can configure the upgrade process. On the Installation Scenario tab, the robot is asking us if we have an ALM source instance up and running. If you're doing an in-place upgrade, select No. Otherwise, click Yes. And another question is generated asking if we created a new site admin database or if we upgraded an existing database. This will generate tasks for deleting the old projects out of the source ALM instance. And in my case, I upgraded an existing copy of the site admin schema. It's usually a good practice to keep your old data so you can re refer to it in the future. On the ALM tab, this is where we configure our different ALM servers. So I'm gonna give it an alias for ALM 11. The URL is on my sandbox 115. Enter your username, and in my case, because it's a sandbox, I leave my password blank. It really helps out with our, our demos. So the destination ALM instance, we're going to call ALM 12. We're going to input the URL. In this case, it's on this local server I have here. And for the username, it is Chris as well, and no password. Click the Next button. The Repository tab is where we point to where the file repository exists. This is a Windows machine. Give it an alias. Because I'm on my ALM environment, this is actually uh, very easy, and these will be very similar to what we had on the ALM tab. So it's Chris dash ALM Omen 5. I'm not connected to Active Directory. Be sure to include your domain before the username. And 
enter your Windows password. Here on the configuration tab, we have the ability to tell the robot that we're using version control. So if you use version control, the robot will actually check in any items for your projects instead of having to manually go in and do so. If you want your project to be verified before you do the upgrade, be sure to enable the enable source project verify. This is a good practice to identify any issues that your projects might have. If you have an, an email server set up, go ahead and, and enter your SMTP server information. Go ahead and put an email recipient. This will allow for that recipient or multiple recipients separated by a comma to get an email for each project that's upgraded successfully. This is a great feature for when you have many projects to upgrade. In my case, I'm not going to enable this because it's on my sandbox environment. Click Next. This is the Validation tab. So we'll click Validate and it will notify us if any items have not passed successfully. And here you can see that I've got numerous amounts of uh, errors. You can easily click on the User Action link. It'll generate the cause of the error. In my case, I did not register my ALM components. Go to your ALM server, click on Tools, click ALM Client Registration, and Register Site Admin. And that's just to close the browsers. And now let's try that validation one more time. Now you can see that we've resolved our errors. We do have a, a, one last error on sending notification. The SMTP host was not specified. This is okay because this is not a mandatory field. Click Next. This is just an overall summary of where our data is coming from and where our data is going. Click Next. And then we have a backup agreement. This is just stating that you've done your backups and that your projects are ready to be upgraded and migrated to the new server. Keep in mind that it's a prerequisite that your databases need to be over on the new environment. The repositories can be copied automatically using the ALM robot, but it's not necessary. Go ahead and confirm the backup agreement and click Finish. Now we've got a list of all of our projects in our source instance. So I'm going to choose a couple of these projects to upgrade. This CAE project is going to fail, but I'm going to check, I'm going to check that just to prove a point here. So I'm going to choose three projects, and it's as easy as clicking Start Upgrade. So here's just one more validation, verifying that these projects have the ability to be upgraded. We have one error. The CAE project has a template attached to it. If you click Handled, it'll unlink the template from that project. But keep in mind, my ALM template is still on version 11, so this project will not be able to be upgraded. But I'm going to show you that error and how to resolve that. Now the upgrade process is initializing. Our projects are being verified as we speak. As you can see, the log is very similar to the upgrade process when doing this manually but it's all written and it's all available for us right here. So now we have one project called Facets, which has been verified. The repository has been copied to the new location and it has been restored successfully in the ALM 12 instance. All right, so now all three projects have been verified, copied, and restored, and now all three of them are being upgraded. Okay, we have one project that has been successfully upgraded. 
we have two projects that have been upgraded, and then we have one project that has failed. So we get an automatic pop-up telling us that there was an error. And let's take a look at the log. We have the ability to look at the robot log or the upgrade log. For this example, let's look at the upgrade. So this looks very, very similar to the errors that we see traditionally in the manual ALM upgrade. If we copy this file location, we can view it and actually see what the error is. So let's grab the most recent log, and here is the error. The template must be upgraded first. Before we upgrade that template, let's just see how long these projects actually took. So here's the timestamp. 10.16 is when it finished, and we started at 10.15. So it took about a minute, minute and a half, to upgrade two projects. After projects have been upgraded, it'll ask if we want to remove the projects from the original SA schema. I never do this. I always click skip. Let's go ahead and upgrade that template. Just start upgrade and click continue. Okay, I fast forwarded about one whole minute. This project, this master template has been upgraded, and now we can go back and upgrade the CAE project that had previously failed. Click continue. And now the upgrade has initiated. All right, so I did fast forward again. We can see that the CAE project was finally able to successfully upgrade. Again, click the Finish button. I choose not to delete the project from the old ALM schema instance, mainly because when I'm doing upgrades, I want to validate that the information is the same in both projects. Click Skip. And there you have it. That is the ALM robot. So I want to thank you for joining us in this demo of the ALM upgrade utility. My name is Chris Carpenter. If you want to contact us, request videos, or request professional services, our email is info at bnb.com. And again, we specialize in HP ALM, Quality Center, Unified Functional Testing, Quick Test Professional, Performance Center, Load Runner. We offer many professional services to help QA organizations better utilize and leverage their QA tools. Thanks for watching.